Hey guys, it's Crystal Carlette here. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to make a garlic enema to cure a yeast infection in just a couple of days. So our main ingredients here is organic virgin coconut oil, unrefined preferably so that it's in its natural form. You are going to need a needle and thread kit of any kind. And the main star here is garlic. Please make sure that the garlic is organic garlic as it will have a better effect. So the first thing that you wanna do, of course, is peel your garlic clove, which I have already done. And then the second thing that you wanna do with your garlic clove is you wanna go ahead and start making slits all around the garlic clove. So I'm making some, you know, just really simple slits all around the garlic clove. And the reason for that is so that it'll be more potent when we are ready to use it. And I would suggest um, doing this enema at bedtime um, before you go to bed or while you're sleeping. And so the next step is we are going to lather our garlic clove with some coconut oil. Um, I did this before I wrapped the needle and thread through the garlic clove, um, but you can do it after everything is said and done. And it actually makes it a little bit more easier. I don't know why I did it that way this time I did it, but um, yeah, it'll be easier if you lather the garlic after you've put the needle and thread through. Um, but the garlic and the coconut oil, they make a great team when it comes to curing yeast infections. So you see here, I have my um, needle and thread. And I just go ahead, of course, and put my thread through my needle. And basically, this does not have to be done perfect at all. You just basically, you're gonna, of course, stick your needle through the garlic clove, and it goes through pretty fairly easily. And once you get it through there, you just wanna begin to loop around the garlic clove and make a knot. You know, make knots, make it stick to the garlic clove. That's basically the whole plan of the thing. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. And you'll see here in a, a couple of minutes that mine is not perfect at all. So I'm kind of wrapping the thread after I've, you know, punctured the garlic clove. I am wrapping the thread around the garlic clove and then I'm gonna puncture it again and bring the thread through to make a knot or a tie. Um, like I said, again, garlic clove is extremely beneficial for curing um, yeast infections of any kind, it, of any magnitude at that. Um, yes, yeah, so I would definitely encourage you guys to give this a try. So here you see me looping it around, just trying to make sure that that thread is secure. And you see there, it got kind of slippery for me. Um, so I would suggest to go ahead and lather it with the, the coconut oil after you get the needle through. And the coconut oil is also very beneficial for curing yeast infections. Not only can you do this, but you can also take a tablespoon of coconut oil every day to help you um, with that unbalance in your gut. So there you see there, I've got my um, needle and my thread wrapped around the garlic clove securely enough to where I feel, feel confident. So I'm just gonna cut off um, a portion at the top that way I can make a little knot and you'll see me here that I'm just gonna make a quick little knot and you want to leave a substantial amount of thread at the very bottom of the garlic clove because that is what you're gonna use to pull it out um, once you're ready to take the garlic clove out so I'm just making a little knot here at the top just to make sure my, my thread doesn't um, unravel, which even if you didn't make a knot, I don't think it will. But this is just a just to be on the on the safe side. So there you see there I have a very long piece at the end. And that's where I'm going to keep it'll be outside of the body. And then the, the shorter piece, you know, it really doesn't matter at this point after the knot is made. So I'm just making a cut. Um, where the knot was made so that I don't have that access or excess, excuse me. So yeah, there you have it. You can see the thread that is going through the garlic clove and it's very easy to do. And like I said, I would suggest doing this at nighttime um, while you're sleeping or before you go to bed for about 20 to 30 minutes. And you just insert it into the vagina and you'll have the thread hanging out. And see, it's very, very secure and when you're ready you just pull it out 
So yeah, this is how you make a quick enema, garlic enema, to cure a yeast infection in just a couple of days. It definitely gets a thumbs up. Leave me any questions that you guys have in the comments box, and I'll be sure to get back with you. Thank you guys for watching, and see you on the next video.